Let's start with an opportunity. By the way, I'm doing this demonstration in Lightning, but the app does work equally well in Classic. In the usual way, let's select two products to add to the opportunity. We have our standard quantity and sales price fields. But we also have two new fields, revenue start date and number of revenue months. So let's say that for the first product, the revenue schedule will start in May and run for six months. And for the second product, it will start in July and run for 12 months. Let's hit save. Here are the two products we've added and here are the revenue schedules related to those two products. If I click view all, then we can see all of the revenue schedules. Let's go back to the opportunity. Suppose the close date changes, no problem. All the revenue schedules move by the same number of days as the change in the close date. That means everything is kept in line. Of course, we might decide we want to change the parameters for the schedules on these opportunity products. That's easy to do, let's open them up and make a couple of changes. We can view all of the schedules in a single page, but we might decide at this point we want to make a manual change. For example, perhaps we know that the first month's schedule is going to be higher than the others. Incidentally, I'll explain this forecast column in just one moment. When I hit save, the line item price is automatically adjusted to reflect the increased revenue. And this updates the opportunity amount, so everything is kept in sync. Let's move on and set this opportunity to closed one. And now we can see that the revenue amount is locked. That's because this column represents the scheduled revenue we anticipated that we will get at the point when the deal was done. And these amounts have been copied over into the forecast column. And as time goes by, we have the option to manually adjust the latest forecast amount based on how we believe the deal is panning out. Incidentally, at all times, the number of schedules, the revenue amount, and the latest forecast are all summarized back on the opportunity. One other thing before we look at the dashboards. There's the option to create monthly targets for each salesperson for the revenue schedules. Here's an example of the monthly target for one salesperson. And you can see he has scheduled revenue from one opportunities and potential scheduled revenue from pipeline deals that we hope will close soon. Naturally, the app comes with a comprehensive dashboard. You can clone and adapt these reports and dashboard charts to meet your own specific reporting requirements. So that's the GSP Revenue Schedules app demoed in the Lightning Edition. As I say, it's fully classic enabled too. Take a test drive today or get in touch with me to talk about any revenue scheduling requirements unique to your business. Good luck.